Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an iPhone to do your camera tracking in Assimilate Live Effects. It's very simple to set up. It's very easy to use. It's maybe not the most professional uh, thing out there, but it's great for demos and R&D. Maybe you're a student and you can't afford a tracker yet. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to show you how to set it up and I'll show you Real quick before we jump in, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here is the iPhone mounted on top of my camera. Doesn't really matter what position you orient it. And that is the comp over there. So I'm gonna show you as I pan this, you can see it drives our Unreal Engine scene. I'm gonna come over here and we'll take a look at that. So you can see I'm panning and I'm moving. And does track XYZ, so if I move closer to the subject, you can see it gets closer, and we can actually go around the subject. Okay, so the first thing you do is go to ZigSim Pro, download it from the App Store, and open it. You need to click to the left of ARKit so that it checks it and then go into the menu here and make sure it says device and on. Then we need to go to settings, other app, UDP, OSC, we're gonna change this to 60, the message rate, and then for the uh, ID, it's best to just name this something that is easy. So I'll do this one as Alex2, and you have to remember this, so you have to enter this into Live Effects. Now we need to know our IP address and we need to assign a port number. So right now I'll keep the, the IP address here and we'll look at Live Effects. So in Live Effects, we're gonna go to the Live Effects menu, Live Links to bring up our tracker. And we're gonna go down to OSC App Sensor Tracker. We're gonna turn that on. Select the app ZigSim Pro select if it's portrait or landscape and select the port here i'm going to put all threes that's what it is in my thing right there and then this is where we can get our ip address so i'm going to go ahead and enter that down here so 192 192.168.1 dot one two six okay my tag is alex two let me make sure this is alex two okay and now i'm going to go back down here and we need to press start we need to say yes and once we see numbers moving that means that our tracker is actually set up correctly so now you would press apply to apply this one, and then you would follow the steps laid out in other tutorials to do your camera calibration because you're going to need to know your nodal offset and you're gonna to wanna to set your world position. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it was helpful and see you in the next video.